Just a pilot in his cockpit seated. Black leather on his ass, keep a hustler heated. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the channel. So if you recall a few months ago, maybe a month ago or so, I don't really remember how long ago, I installed this uh, uh, wicker bill. And um, although I'm really happy with it and I think it looks really good, it, um, it does look slightly out of place on the car. So it, um, it's just a little bit more than the rest of the car. Like it's a, a, it stands out a little bit too much and it's just like basically like you got a wing on a stock car so trying to address that a little bit and I mentioned that when I first um when I first put it on that I'm gonna have to spruce up the rear end a little bit more to kind of uh, accommodate so what I got was a spoiler king um rear window spoiler I got that right now we're gonna be putting that on today and then I'm also going to delete all the dodge here and then black out the tail lights I think and maybe remove the IRT, maybe not. But first thing I'm gonna do is get the um, the rear spoiler, the window spoiler, and we'll see how that looks, and then um, probably get those um, those tinted uh, LEDs, tinted uh, covers, LED covers, or whatever they're called. So um, first thing we gotta do, as you can tell, the car is absolutely filthy. It's been sitting here for a while. Um, I do drive it every day, but I haven't driven it like this weekend at all, so. Let's uh let's wash it first. Let's, let me start you guys off with a cold start. So the exhaust isn't very loud on this thing, but the cold starts are insane. I mean the, the exhaust isn't quiet, but the cold starts specifically are absolutely loud. So this is the um, Spoiler King spoiler I have here. And uh, we're gonna be putting this on today. Uh, it looked pretty good, but we'll have to open it up and see what it looks like. But before I do that, we're washing the car. So let me get, let me get that started. So as some of you know, I took a trip to uh, Wyoming uh, a couple weeks ago, week ago, and um, I lost my, my Oakley shades. I left them in a, a bathroom at like a Bucky's or something like that. So I ordered a, some new, a new one, a new pair when I was there, but that's quite a, annoying. These, um, these are like the best value ones. These are like $90, but still, that absolutely sucks that I had to spend another $90. But at least these are completely scratch free. So I used to never buy expensive sunglasses for that reason because I tend to lose them, but whatever. This is about the fifth pair of this style sunglasses I've bought in about seven years. So not too bad. Okay, now that we got the car all clean, let's crack this open and take a look. As you can see, I still have my factory tires right here. Rims and tires, I have not touched them. But one thing I did think of, since everybody was saying that I needed to 
change my center caps is I have these center caps, which I'm not sure if the colors will match, but I think they will. So I can always just pop these off and put them in my center cap so I have a little dodge rather than a blank. But honestly, to me, it's really not that big of a deal, but maybe I'll do that one of these days. Alrighty, so let's take a look here. It's in the plastic, so it's not gonna scratch my thing. First thing I can say is it's really heavy. I don't know the exact weight, but it's definitely not light. Let me look on the box, maybe it'll have the weight. Five pounds? So yeah, that sounds about right. This thing's about five pounds. Um, not necessarily a bad thing. It's not like super heavy, but it's, uh, you know, heavier than I anticipated it being, which basically means it's just higher quality and it is completely sealed. So it looks like Spoiler King is uh, top notch. So let's check out the instructions. Oh, like, nice. They want you to leave it between the dash and the windshield for 30 minutes to warm up. So you can bend it. Yeah, it's like 60 degrees. That's not gonna happen. But we'll see what if we can just push it on. So they want you to cut and partially remove film, center the spoiler, and they want you to put some tape on it and then leave masking tape on for 24, 48 hours. So the first thing they want you to do is uh, center it. Okay, it obviously goes this way. It's actually pretty flexible, so I don't think the flex is gonna be that big of an issue. And the windshield is completely dry. So that's about what it's gonna look like. Okay, and the camera turned off, I'm not sure when, but I've been heating up the, the thing. And uh, in case you're wondering what the brake light looks like with it in place, because it is kind of low. We're gonna hit that. Now I couldn't see it, but hopefully you did, and it looks okay. Okay, that took a longer than I thought to get the tape started, so I might have to warm it up again since I, before I do the final press on. Might be pliable enough still, but we'll see. Nope, needs more heat. Damn it. See if that's enough. I want to give you a good look before I uh, do a final press down, but you can see I have it like right above the car line. Now when I press it down, I'm gonna bend it and make sure it goes exactly where I want it. And it looks pretty even throughout the whole thing. As you can see, it's lifting up a little bit in the middle, but that's okay, because it's gonna go down when we push it down. And on this side, we have pretty much the same thing. This is exactly how I want the other side to look, so I'm just gonna make sure I adjust it. And then we're gonna tape it all down, and then marvel. Well, we're marvel, then tape it down. Okay, now for the final reveal. You can see it there, and sorry it's a little bit dark out. It's kind of a uh, overcast, as you can see. As you can see, my line is pretty much perfect. And I wanted it as high up as possible, so I know some people are gonna say it should be below the window line, but that's kind of how I wanted it. Make sure it's nice and pressed down everywhere. So that's what it looks like. 
See if I can get some wider shots. In the car from the rear now. From the side. I think it looks pretty damn good, honestly. Definitely gives it a, a different look. But I think it looks good. I'm not 100% sure I'm in love with it, but like most things, when there's a change, it's kind of just a little strange and you gotta get used to it. So I'm gonna do the final taping. Okay, all done. Now I know I went a little bit excessive with the taping, but it's not warm out here, it's cold. So I just wanna make sure the thing stays nice and in shape and doesn't move and all that good stuff. You guys tell me what you think of this because uh, it's a little bit more controversial in my opinion than the wicker bill was, but I actually like it, so. All right, everybody. Um, that's it for now. Um, I did order some of these, um, some LED, uh, for these lights here and the same for the front, some uh, smoked LED ones. So I'm hoping those were gonna, are gonna look pretty cool. Um, at least they'll be smoked, so no more red and amber, which will look, I think look nicer just by itself. The car looks a hell of a lot better being clean. Yeah, it looks a lot better clean. I always have it dirty. Note to self, wash car. And you see my garage with all the crap in it. Now I can move most of the stuff, like I could just move things to the side or whatever, but what I can't move is that those huge pallets of tile. They weigh about 1,800 pounds each. That one's a little bit less because it's got a little bit less tile in it, but those are what's in the way and Sure, I could un unpack it and then stack them all over here, but that's, oh my God, that'll be a huge pain in the ass. And it'll still be in the way, so. Once they do the flooring in the house, then I'll have my garage back. We'll all have to clean up everything else, but that's no big deal. Oh, there's a pallet over here too. So, I don't really want to lug around, uh, you know, whatever, six, six, 7,000 pounds of tile. And that's the situation. And here are my mufflers. I was gonna say, did those flood, but Duh, I got this car after the flood, so obviously they didn't. So anyway, that's it for now. Hope you guys like this. Be sure to like and subscribe. Still got the supercharger coming. I'm gonna try to go this week to go talk to them. And um, I'll, I'll film it all and everything and see what they say. I might put the deposit down at that point, but I'm like 95% sure I'm gonna go with the shop. Um, that seems to be what the consensus of what everybody thought. And um, I, I agreed with it too. The shop, shop just seems safer and it's mildly more expensive. So, um, and they tune it and everything. So it just seems like a way, better deal all around. So yeah, I think that's, that's it. So everybody take care, peace.